welcome to another episode of Carbs. The only show where I sit in the car and BS while consuming carbs. Matt Siner finally found it. The brand new Mountain Dew SA. So this is uh, three of their flavors combined into one. It's Code Red, Whiteout, and Voltage. Uh, when I first posted this, somebody sent me a picture of it pretty early on. I actually had, I don't even know who it was. Every once in a while I get like people who work for the distributors and whatnot. And they, they won't say who they are or anything. But I'll get like a picture on Snapchat or like Instagram or even Facebook sometimes I'll get something sent. I believe this was Snapchat. Somebody sent me the graphic design of this like... It was like three or four months ago before it was even announced, and I thought it was a joke. I was like, there's no way that's real. It has to be Photoshop. Here it is. This is real. So, <laughs> yeah, combining three flavors. Very interesting uh, concept. I mean, this would almost be like what we would do on the show. Just combine flavors and see what they taste like. So I'm interested in it. Let's go ahead and try this thing out. Also, make sure uh, to follow us on our Twitch account, Reckless Eating on Twitch. And we do every Tuesday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We do a little playthrough. We have a wheel where we spin it for donations and whatnot. It has gross foods. It has booze. All kinds of fun stuff. So far, everybody seems to love it. Follow us on there. So let's see what this smells like. It just smells like Mountain Dew. I mean, I have a feeling it's probably going to be dominated by Voltage uh, for the most part. But, like... Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get a little bit of everything. Here we go. Oh man, you get a little of everything. Oh wow. All oh, the flavors on that. Holy crap, you, you really do taste Code Red Whiteout and Voltage. It's quite good too, but there's also like, it's kind of heavy on a, uh, like a grape, like Dimatap thing. No, I mean not heavy, there's a, there's a hint of it. There's a hint of it. My, my bad, my bad. It's pretty refreshing. It's, it captures Mountain Dew without just being a Mountain Dew clone. And I love that you can literally, in a book, you open up the book and you literally read off, uh, that you can you can tell there's three different flavors of Mountain Dew in here. If somebody handed it to me, maybe not so much. It's not that distinguishable. But the fact that I know what it is, I think I can pick them out. Great concept. I love that Mountain Dew did this. I think it's pretty amazing that no other soda company had ever thought to do something like this. Just combine existing flavors and push it out as a new flavor because I have a feeling this is going to do very well. I enjoy the concept the most. I think it tastes pretty good overall. I'm going to rate this a high 4 out of 5. I do think that Code Red and Voltage on their own taste better. I've never been a big fan of Whiteout. Which again, in the comments, they're going to be like, what? Whiteout's the best. Not only does it taste delicious, but it also corrects grammar mistakes, brother. But it's it's good stuff overall, though. I love this concept. What are your thoughts on the Mountain Dew SA? I got this at Walmart. They seem to all have it now. Uh, you can go get it yourself and bathe in it. Like, pour it all over your body. Just be like, oh, do I say me in the butt? That's that. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next episode.